Mini episode 937 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. I'm FDH Managing Partner Rick Morris here with Part 5 of our ranking of all of the episodes of one of TV's great comedies, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We're borrowing from the flawless dentist system to create six tiers, with S as the lowest and D as the highest. It's important to clarify that, of course, there are no really bad episodes of this show, just ones that we prefer to other ones. So even those that are lower on the list are not ones that we're crapping on. It's just that you can't rank 1 through 133 without having some that go down to 133. We are inspired to create this list when one of our great show contributors, Paul Pasek, called a list to our attention that had been produced by Deadspin, and like much of their work in the post-Will Leach years, it was clear that they just mailed it in. Sonny deserves better than that. Whether you agree or disagree with our rankings, hopefully you will perceive that we put the thought into this project that the show deserves. We can't wait until season 13 of Sonny Begins, but while we're on this long hiatus, here's our list. Today is part 5, the first half of the second end tier. Number 95, episode 3.3, Dennis and Dee's Mom is Dead, September 20th, 2007. This show manages many, many challenges that you would think would be too much, like mining humor from death, but here they succeed just like always. Number 94, episode 2.10, Dennis and Dee get a new dad, August 17, 2006. Only Dee and Dennis would immediately default to trying to scam their new father, and as is always the case, the two team up for some truly sick comedy. Number 93, episode 7.7, Charty McDennis, The Game of Games, October 27, 2011. Wouldn't you love to see the writer's room session where they brainstormed all of the parts of the gang's very sadistic board game? Number 92, episode 4.11, The Gang Cracks the Liberty Bell, November 6, 2008. This is a very adventurous and polarizing episode in the Sunny fan base. At the very least, you've got to give credit for making those historical characters fit in well with the gang. Number 91, Episode 2.8, The Gang Runs for Office, August 3, 2006. You can make a very good case for the gang's foray into politics providing a parody 10 years in advance of our nation's weirdest presidential campaign. Number 90, Episode 12.3, Old Lady House, A Situation Comedy, January 18, 2017. Reality TV programming was long overdue to be satirized by Sonny, and the use of Charlie and Max Moms was brilliant. Number 89, Episode 2.2, The Gang Goes Jihad, June 29, 2006. In Frank's first episode as a full-fledged member of the gang, the show demonstrates persuasively how much his demented character can add to the proceedings. Number 88, Episode 11.5, Mac and Dennis Move to the Suburbs, February 3, 2016. Suburban life is so rarely explored by Sonny that you knew they'd have a lot to work with here, and no surprise, it turned out to be very disturbing and very funny. Number 87, Episode 10.10, Ass Kickers United, Mac and Charlie Join a Cult, March 18, 2015. Puppet Master Dennis, secretly starting a cult and for the most petty and inconsequential of reasons, is one of the most Sonny concepts in the history of Sonny. Number 86, Episode 7.12, The High School Reunion, December 8, 2011. For as much as we hear in bits and pieces about the gang's backstory, the episodes that flush it out in detail are always interesting. Number 85, Episode 7.9, The Gang Gets Trapped, November 10, 2011. The gang is always getting worked up about meaningless causes, but this one actually perpetrating a home invasion makes it that much different. Number 84, Episode 9.1, The Gang Broke D, September 4, 2013. Any success that comes to anyone in the gang is always fleeting, but the way that D's fell apart was absolutely insane. 
number 83, episode 12.8, The Gang Tens Bar, February 22, 2017. It's amazing to think that the show took 12 seasons to deliver as back the basics an episode as this one, and shockingly, it did not feel out of place. Number 82, episode 4.12, The Gang Gets Extreme, Home Makeover Edition, November 13, 2008. Ultimately, the gang will only do something nice for selfish reasons, and this episode took that truism all the way out to its logical conclusion. Thank you for joining us for this mini-episode of the FDH Lounge. As we bring the show to a close, we would like to extend our deepest gratitude to NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, All Clear Channel Affiliates, TNT, TBS, USA, UPN, Deadspin.com, YouTube.com, YTMND.com, MySpace.com, various blogs, Fox News, CNN, CNBC, MSNBC, IamBoard.com, Billboard.com, Google.com, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, ESPN2, ESPN Classic, NBA TV, NFL Network, Sports Time Ohio, Athlon Magazine, Comedy Central, Cartoon Network, The Boomerang Channel, QVC, BET, The Spice Channel, Steno Notebooks, Manwich, Paper Mate Office Supplies, Waitresses, Strippers, Bartenders, Garbage Men, Janitors, Microwave Popcorn, The Writers of The Office, Scrubs, Entourage, My Name is Earl, Oz, Metalocalypse, and The Boondocks, Aquafina, and The Periodic Table of Elements.